Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we will see how we can sign up for Office 365 and which plan should be considered. So let's quickly jump to the internet and sign up for Office 365. So we are on the Google page and you need any internet uh, computer for this and you can just type for Office 365 Enterprise E3 and click on this so you see that get the latest advanced feature with office 365 and here we have office 365 pro plus office 365 e1 and e3 and e5 for pro plus and e1 we do not have a feature of like try for free and it does not include Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access and Publisher. It only have Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, Team, Yammer and Stream. But you can see Office 365 E3 has almost like each and every plan. Only the E5 had extra feature like we say Power BI. And there is bit, uh, difference between like uh, Office 365 E3 and E5 in our previous video we have seen that uh, difference so we have to go for uh, office 365 e3 so we can go and uh, sign up for try for free and it will give you like 30 days trial and after that you will have to pay for the subscription but for 30 days it is fully functional so i'm putting the email address for my administrator like a administrator Com and click on next you have to create the account let me quickly create create the account and once I'll sign in I'll resume the video so now I am signed up and here it says welcome Vikas and you see Outlook Word Excel PowerPoint these features are here and to set up email this is the option available let me click on this option exit and continue later this is microsoft 365 admin center and you can see the user active user so here you have a active user like if you want to add a user you can just click on add user and another user will be added but the admin is the main the first one you created so let me cancel this and if you go to the support setting here you can see the uh, setting under the support and if you click on domain we have to add our domain like get support link dot com So for our custom domain, let me type the name of our domain. I will say use this domain. So uh, Microsoft uh, don't want anyone to connect with the, the Office 365, the domain name which you do not own. So you have to verify that uh, this domain name is owned by you so in order to verify that uh, domain you have to uh, add these record like if you want to add with the text record or mx record mx record is obviously not because right now the exchange like our office 365 uh, doesn't have our mailbox users and the, uh, it is empty so we cannot do it with the mx record we have to go with the text record so for text record let's say the text name the text value is this and the TTL would be this so let me uh, go ahead and copy this and will add it to my DNS I'll say add record this is a Cloudflare DNS and we will select the record as a text and the root domain is get support link.com and the content is 
this and I will though it is asking for like 3 and 36 you can see the TTL is 3600 I'll say it auto and will click on save so we have our auto discover C name everything here and let's see if it verifies or not sometime it can take time but uh, with the cloud flare uh, it may take minute or two so let me try to verify if it verifies it or not it has been verified so now it's saying now we will provide a list of DNS record that you will need to add for your domain if I click on continue it says like change your MX record to this and change your CNAME record like auto discover with this and the text record is already there so uh, because uh, if I change the MX record that means the mail will be routing from the there will be multiple MX record right now it is pointing to my uh, mail dot get support line dot com and still we do not have a hybrid configuration for our exchange and we do not want it to uh, route our email through the office 365 and neither the auto discover we want so I'm just leaving it as it is and we'll just click on continue these are the services if you want to check for Microsoft team and sky for business you can do that but uh, in this case we are not uh, uh, we are concerned about only the exchange setup so let me click on continue it says the record is not there so what I'll do I'll just close this one because first of all we have to sync uh, the active directory and then only we can proceed further so we have a, a get support link dot on microsoft uh, dot com and the other one is incomplete setup if we click on this one it will say like uh, it will say like text mx or c name though we cannot change the c name that is auto discover we cannot change uh, mx record right now but the thing is that we can change this uh, SPF record because uh, every mail uh, going uh, outside from our, our every outbound email uh, the other server checks for this uh, record so let me copy this and we will add this record to our SPF record here it is and we'll click on save so now in our next video we will try to download our AD connect and we'll try to synchronize uh, our domain like active uh, active directory with Azure directory so let's meet in the next video